Anyway, my uh, grandpa Gabbert worked on the railroad uh, most of most of his life. He started out as a farmer, and he wasn't very good at. Well, he would take off to go to town and have a beer rather than stay out in the field and plow. And uh, so the farming didn't do too well. And he went to work on the railroad, and he worked on the railroad until he retired. Uh, he was in uh, railroad. <clears throat> had a, a railroad strike in the early 1900s, uh, after, I think after World War I. And uh, uh, they went on strike and the railroad fired them all and hired all new people. So Grandpa didn't have a job. And uh, he went to work for another railroad and he worked for two or three different railroads. But he didn't stay at home, he was always on the road gone. and. Uh, uh, they had six kids and he'd come home and he'd be home for a while and then he'd have to go back to, uh, he worked at Aurora and he worked at Canton, Ohio quite a bit. And, um, <clears throat> well, let's see, I'll give you some more ideas here. When I was a kid, we, my grandpa Aron lived on a farm. He rented. Uh, he went ro broke in the Depression. He had a farm and he always said the uh, biggest mistake he ever made was he voted for um, Franklin Roosevelt the first time. And he, Roosevelt came in and said, well, you're only getting a dollar a piece for little pigs. What, what we're going to do is we're going to kill half the pigs. And he said, when we do that, the price will go up. and." Uh, Instead of getting a dollar a pig, you'll get a lot more money. Well, they came out and they killed half the pigs. And then the price went down to 50 cents a pig. <laughs> so it didn't work out very well. And uh, it got to the point on that farm, and that was a very unusual farm because back in the 20s, people on farms didn't have uh, central heat. You know, you had a stove in the middle of the room. Well, he had a furnace and a stoker and and it had electric lights, which none of the farms did at that time. And uh, uh, he lost it all in the Depression. They, they uh, couldn't even they couldn't do make enough money on the farm during the Depression to pay the interest on the loan. So they just had to go back. But he was such a good farmer that. Um, uh, Somebody came to him and said, uh, a judge came to him and said, look, Judge Ashwood said, I'll rent you my farm at 640 acres. And uh, he did. And he rented him that farm. Grandpa did very well on it. Uh, he uh, uh, ended up making enough money off of that farm that he was renting to buy two more. So he did, he was a very good farmer and he did very well. And I used to love to go to his farm. Grandpa always took you to work with him. Whatever he was doing, well, you could go along. And I rode on the, on his lap while he planted corn. And, and uh, I went out in the field with him when they were making hay. And uh, they'd throw it up on a wagon and haul it back to the barn. And <clears throat> I rode on a hay horse. That was kind of a neat deal because they would have uh, a big uh, claw thing that they would stick into the hay that was on a wagon. And it was on a rope. And the rope went up through the barn and uh, out the back of the barn. And it was hooked to a horse and I rode the horse. I'd run the ho ride the horse out to the end of the rope and they'd holler at me and I'd stop. And then they'd drop the hay in the barn. And then I'd bring back the horse, bring the horse back, and the thing would go down, and they'd hook onto some more hay. And they'd bring it up, put it in the barn, and now and I'd ride the horse back out to bring it in the barn. And that was the old days when they just used loose hay. Now you see these great big round bales that they just leave lay out. And before then, they had little square bales that they put in the barn. Uh, now you don't see very many barns like that. But the barns had a hayloft, and it was an upstairs, and they filled it with a clear full of hay. 
and uh, then they'd throw the hay downstairs to the to the animals, and and it worked pretty well. <clears throat> but the uh, big bales that they have now, those two thousand pound round bales, are a lot less work for them. They can just run those up and leave them out in the field.